Hi, welcome to the GIF channel. Today's episode, we are going to try to paint this one as cheap as possible and paint it properly. <laughs> uh, the idea is to remove the old uh, paint as, as well as some rust. Hopefully there will be something left after it. <laughs> And for that, I plan to use stuff that are easily available on the uh, grocery, grocery store and it's cheap. And except of course the paint itself, it's not in the grocery store, but this you can buy. I've already used this one about two euros for this bag, then two euros for baking soda. This is going to be required after the main thing, which is um, apple vinegar. So uh, the plan is to put this in here and vacuum it, then put vinegar in it. I think two bottles will be fine. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then leave it for one or two days, flipping it when I remember. Um, and afterwards, after the vinegar is done, we need to do uh, an hour or two with the baking soda, flipping it. We'll see. Um, usually you do it a bigger uh, container and then pour more stuff but bigger container will cost probably everything here you see will be the cost of the container only and you are going to need 15 of those so not two well I don't know if two are going to be required we'll see and after that leave it to dry and use this is a zinc spray uh, made in Germany and it should withstand somewhere here I should say 500 yeah 500 degrees so this is meant for you know those ovens old ovens for grandma which <laughs> run on fire and the inner part of the chimney where it's actually hot and it's visible they spray they paint it with this one this should withstand I believe here and it's the perfect color okay I have no idea if that's going to happen if that's going to work and if that's not going to eat my rust away too much we're going to see now I place this one here I pour in the uh, vinegar and I'll actually film afterwards to let you know if those two were enough or I had to go and buy more I have one Additional one, but it's only one. So for now, up to 11 euros, I believe. Two, four, this is five euros. So this now becomes uh, nine. And this is one euro each. So 11 euros up to now as a cost for this. If that works out, 11 euros, that will be good. Okay, let's go. Okay. This is with two bottles. There is plenty of vinegar in here not all air i could get get out but that was expected and from time to time we just need to do this the main part is to clean is here out of the uh, paint so like that would be better suited okay now this is wasted vinegar needs to go back down we don't need it at the top so maybe a smaller bag would fit better although this was useful because when i was sucking out the air uh, it wasn't directly going towards the uh, vacuum cleaner because it's on the top and there is a dent here so maybe this is good i just have to uh, be careful with the turning around not to have vinegar in that side of the bag because it's just wasted vinegar Okay, two bottles, 70, uh, 700 uh, milliliters each. Let's see what will happen in uh, two days, let's say. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. So this is 11 hours later, and as you can see, the bag is different. And this is the second bag, and it's leaking as well. Everything is in liquid. So, um, the problem actually becomes when I vacuum it so hard 
I twist an angle so at, at an angle there is no uh, liquid here uh, and uh, just suck in and at that point somewhere here I guess it gets uh, cut because this is the second bag I destroy so maybe the better plan is actually to fill in the bag find the bag as this one which fits perfectly and fill it in when placing something in here so you fill in with less uh, vinegar but I don't have vinegar so the plan now is to actually uh, open it up scrub it scrub the whole thing um, see where we are at and then decide should we should I go buy more vinegar find and patch the spots here or not let's rub and see okay this is after the 12 hours this already started uh, producing some kind of goop here we need to start the, pro the other process so we neutralize the uh, vinegar but I'm extremely happy now this is pure metal at the bottom pure metal very happy all the rust is gone I couldn't take that spot only but at the bottom in general but all the rust gone very happy now on the top is a different thing <clears throat> this which you actually see is uh, was rusty spots all of them are removed and this here is not paint that's actually probably nickel it has been etched you can see points here there's one here there's one here <clears throat> and there's one here so they, they have etched it with nickel most likely or something else to protect it against rust it's not paint so this is not going to come off so I've removed all the rusty spots everything is as good as possible it's time to neutralize the vinegar and afterwards paint okay this is after I uh, use the uh, baking soda I used it only as you can see I didn't use much I used it only for 20 minutes because damn this is sharp this really is sharp and it cut the uh, bag multiple times so I used tape to seal it off but it cuts on another place and then there is too much pressure when you fill in the bag so the bag method well maybe it's a bad idea now I have preheated the oven here so I'm going to put it into to dry off quicker so I can start painting and I see the yellowish thing appears again hope I didn't screw up something let's see let's quickly dry it off what have I done this was shiny metal and all of those rusty spots this is only after actually baking it so that's good that's not good I use isopropyl alcohol here to remove as much as possible but still it has a rust color to it so probably I did not remove the vinegar properly it's a good method with the vinegar it's not it's just not for that big parts which are irregular something smaller which will not eat as much vinegar will be good this one I don't think so so I already screwed this one up um, the plan is use the isopropyl alcohol I have here clean and then paint as fast as possible before it starts to rust again and let's hope the paint will protect it so I scrubbed as much as possible then I left it in for 15 minutes here and it's not aging there's no rust appearing so this actually oh the 
oh, it's hot. This actually means one thing. I screwed up the second step. So this time around, <laughs> when this finishes uh, lowering the temperature, I'm going to fit it in here and actually do it properly. I'm going to leave it for at least two hours, not 20 minutes. And I'm going to uh, add the whole thing. I don't care. I just add the whole thing so I'm sure there is enough of it. And afterwards, we'll see if rust appears. Not, it's probably not rust, it's something else. Vinegary, I don't know. If it appears again, if it appears again, I'm just going to scrub it again. Okay, I'll wait now for this to cool off and shove it in here. Fill it in with water and with baking soda. Okay, here we have it. It's been two hours inside. The rust that actually appeared did not come off by its own. Okay, scrub a bit and put it in the oven, which is again preheated, just to speed up the process. Okay, much, much, much better. This is we after 15 minutes of 250 degrees in the oven. I don't see anything changed. So, turns out step two was actually wrong. Yes, I used this whole thing in the bucket, left it in the bucket. It did not, I don't know if you are going to be able to see, most likely not. It's only reflection, but uh, there is a little bit of this at the bottom. So it did not, I did not actually use the whole thing. Okay. Now we paint. Okay, that is all. I was so focused to paint the edge that it actually dripped. Yeah, rookie mistake. I was always terrible at painting, <laughs> always. Now, I'm still careful with this because it's not fully cured. I'm going to put it in the oven again and I'm going to even test how how good it will stand 250 degrees for let's say 10 minutes. Okay, shield is in. Uh, these are just shadows here. It looks good. I overspilled here with uh, grease, but uh, that's fine. These also need to be changed, the bolts, because they are rusty old bolts, but let's first see if that is going to uh, stand in time. I give it, let's say, two months, uh, and then I should uh, follow up what happened. Okay, that's two months later, and more than a thousand kilometers driven. Mostly in good weather, there were a few rainy days, but nothing out of the ordinary, a few puddles, not so bad. As you can see here, it started changing color at the back as well, but that's about it for two months. The marks here, you can see white, whiter marks. These I made now, while removing it. So this shows the paint is actually fragile. It's not that good, but it's not terrible. It definitely looks better than what it was before. So I'm happy. Would I do it again? Well, yeah, I would. With each time I do it, I'm going to get better. I probably would fix few things in the procedure so it's going to be faster and cheaper and overall the thing is cheap not to mention I really don't know the other way around so <laughs> for me that's good enough I don't know how much it's going to uh, stay like so I don't drive the car much so for me 
probably this is going to stay at least two years, I guess, until it needs another paint job. So once per, even one year, once per one year, it's totally fine. And not that bad. That's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe. I will post more videos soon. Bye bye.